So after uh, removing the apostrophe s from the sentence, it is time to do the tokenizer. And I already have written the uh, function here in order to save time. But this is how it works. So uh, you are actually supplying the text and the type of text that we are supplying is the one which has got the apostrophe s removed from it. Uh, so we gonna load it into the NLP language model that we have and this is a least comprehension so it lemmatize all the words uh, so put it into the lower case and strip it from any space for uh, any word that is not the pronoun in the sentence and for everything else uh, you know we're gonna lower case that word and then this is another uh, list comprehension. So it would say a word for the word in words. So for any word that we find in here, if that word is not in the stop words and also not in the punctuation. So in that case, we're gonna remove the stop words and the punct uh, punctuations as well. And then, you know, finally return the words. So let's actually try that here and Let's actually use this uh, sentence. So let's actually, we need to say that uh, we need to apply the uh, cleaned text here. So would be this one. And here we go. So we have actually removed stop words and we have removed the apostrophe as everything looks fine here. Uh, so what we can do now here is to combine these two functions uh, together. So uh, whenever you supply a dictionary file, it's going to remove the apostrophe s and then it's going to uh, tokenize it as well. So um, if you do remember the name of the uh, file or sorry, the name of the variable in which we saved our Wikipedia text was my file. So this is a dictionary key and a dictionary values. I'm interested in the dictionary values because uh, it would actually provide me access to the text. Uh, as you know, the length of it is 500. So the my file dot values, uh, then the first step is to uh, apply the uh, what was the name of it? Text cleaner. So it would be text uh, cleaner text for text in my file lot values. So this one actually should remove the apostrophe s. Sorry, that was a typo error. So uh, here we go. And uh, I'm going to save it into a variable called cleaned text. And then the second one is the tokenized text. And this one actually would uh, take more time um, to uh, remove. So the clean text that we have, which is, you know, the whole text we extracted from the Wikipedia, and we have removed the apostrophe S from it, now is going to be uh, tokenized here, sorry. So it's gonna be um, tokenizer, function that we uh, wrote before and then we're going to you know supply the clean text into it this one is going to take more time to be processed so be patient and i will get back to you once this is done and show you the result uh ah, okay well this one is a an error it says the argument string has incorrect type it expected the string what we gave it a list so the reason for that is that this is a list. So I want to, I need to turn it into uh, a string and the way to do it is to use this method. So the space bar uh, dot join and that would actually turn it into a string rather than a list. Uh, so if you look at it, um, here we go. Now this is not a list. This is actually a sentence. So. I'm going to get rid of that and now you will see that it's going to work and uh, it's going to remove the punctuations as well as the stop words but um, it will take a while. So it seems that the process has now finished. So if you run that you can see that it has tokenized the text, removed the punctuations as well as the stop words. Okay so these are the words that we have. And uh, we can actually, you know, as I said, 
combine the previous functions and just supply the dictionary file uh, in order to just you know do the same process that I showed you here which I'm going to show you shortly so everything I mentioned before could be uh, summarized and combined in this function it's so uh, it is called file plain tokenize it receives the file dictionary and then it would actually you know, apply the text cleaner function removes the apostrophe s in the dictionary file values uh, and then convert that into a sentence and then you tokenize it and then it return the tokenized text so uh, if you I'm not going to actually run this because you know we would actually get the same result as this one uh, but obviously if you type like file clean and then tokenize and then just give it a name of uh, your dictionary file it should actually give you the same result uh, like this one anyway I'm not gonna run it instead I want to actually jump into creating the word map and that's one of the learning outcomes of this video so we have actually reached to the point in which we can supply the file dictionary the whole file dictionary and then it's gonna create the word map for us so it's gonna go through this list which will first be converted into the dictionary and then it's going to count the frequency of any of these words. So uh, you can also notice that there are some, you know, numbers here, and uh, that it's down to you if uh, you know we would actually assume that these words are also, uh, sorry, these numbers are also uh, redundant. We could have actually removed those easily, but I'll just left it as they are, uh, just to show you the uh, basic principles of natural language processing and creating the word map so it would receive the file dictionary and then uh, we gonna apply the previous function the file clean tokenize uh, into it it's gonna uh, return the tokenized text to us uh, and then save it into a word list and then for each word in the word list we have an empty dictionary here and then it's gonna count it like that so uh, it would receive um, the word as a key and then uh, it's going to get that word and then count it in this loop and uh, it would return the frequency then this is the list we're gonna um, sorry this is a dictionary and then we're gonna convert that dictionary into the sorted dictionary so I want this word frequency to be sorted in the descending uh, format which means that you know from the highest to the lowest so have a look at this code see that when you have a dictionary and then you want to sort it from the highest number to the lowest then how it's going to be done in here so I already have written this for you so anyway uh, to save time this is how uh, you know we're going to do this and um, we're going to apply this function and then give it the dictionary file and then it should produce the sorted word map for us Again, it would take a while uh, for this to be completed, so you need to be patient. I will get back to you once this is over. So it seems that the process has now finished. So let's see how it worked. Sorted word map. And here we go. So we have actually developed a word map. So you find the name of the uh, word and the number of times it has been repeated. So, uh, and it has, it's quite actually lengthy. So this is great. Uh, you can also like uh, do the print. So maybe it would actually give you a better visualization if you like, or, you know, you can remove the print. So this is how it works. And uh, this is how you produce the word map. So. If you are actually, you know, going through these functions as uh, I showed you, and then you supply the file dictionary, then uh, you would be able to count the number of words in the text. So now that we have produced the word map, it is time to visualize it. So I'm going to do the visualization based on the result of this dictionary.